right, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten connected with our opponent, Cherry Man Cake, and his Philadelphia Mel Medals. We're going to type in a GLHF to him in the chat, and we're going to put his team down. He brings Palafin, Cinderace, Iron Treads, Zapdos, Zarud, and Quillfish Hisuian. Uh, which is an interesting Pokemon for sure. Uh, if I pull up the, uh, the team and everything so I can just look at, uh, his Terra Captain. I think Zapdos was the one that I have to watch out for. No, it's Zarud. Okay, so Zarud is his Terra Captain for this game. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I think what I want to do is I always lead with Rotom, and I trip. I think that's the play. I always lead Rotom, and I trip. And good luck, have fun to Cherry Man Cake. Guys, go and uh, subscribe to him if you guys are new to him. He does some really good content. Subscribe to this channel, and also be sure to follow my Twitch channel as we are getting the community grown up. 630 is the lead. That is Zarud. In all fairness, right now, this is not the lead we want to do. Uh, I mean, we're kind of already on the back burner here because of that. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to bring out Wonder Woman, and I want to uh, do that because I think that's the play right now. Damn it, leading Rotom was not the smartest lead. I mean, but then again, that could have been his strategy at first. He, he probably thought, oh, he's always going to lead Rotom here, so let me lead Zarud. Honestly, I should have thought of that. that. But that's good tech on his part. I mean, who knows what his Terra type is, because this is his Terra Captain, and it could be anything, really. That, like, that, that's the thing. This Terra Captain could be any Terra type. So we're going to switch out on Rotom. He's going to... You guys see that we bring out Volcarona here. Turn one Terra. What is the Terra type on the Zarud? Please not anything that is super effective on Volcarona. Terra Ground. Okay. Oh, I could have stayed in with Rotom potentially. Maybe. Um. Rock. Damn it! Oh, man. Um, now what do I want to do? Because I kind of still need Volcarona around. Well, I kind of do, I kind of don't. I'm just going to go for Will-O-Wisp here. See if he, if he's Scarf or not. If he's Scarf, then... Nope, he's not Scarf, and we just let a Pokemon go down for absolutely no reason there. We are already on the back burner and the hands of this Zaru. Like, that is not smart play on our part at all. Um, and also, now that makes sense, so... Uh, let's see, what do I want? And I could easily go into you and just... So, let's see, he's got Rock Slide, he's got Terra Blast. Um, I think going into you is the play here. Go into... Tatsu. Um, do I click Surf here or do I click Draco? Um, I think the play. I think the play is to Surf. Um, because it's not, and we also know it's not Choice. So, uh, I'm gonna go with Surf. I'm gonna click Surf. Here. How much is this going to do? Terra Ground is going to do how much to us? Uh, over a hundred damage. So that's a two hit KO. And it would be a two hit KO if we had done Surf the first turn. Um, yeah, I, I gotta do this. I, I gotta let Tatsu go down. I'm already down two Pokemon at the hands of this Zarud. I already started off terrible on this, but in all fairness, I, I, I feel like I can still pull this back. I feel like I can pull this back. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I don't want to do this. I'm gonna bring out Sneezler here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, uh, I'm gonna click Fake Out here, so I can activate our, uh, what's it called? Um, or, or do I, or do I just close combat? Do I hard close combat here? Because I'm definitely faster than this Root, and I'm almost 99% positive that a Sneezler can knock out a. Unburdened Sweeper, Zaru. Uh, if it's Terra Ground. Oh, yeah. Um. I feel like, th I feel like that's the play, is to close combat. But he could easily go into, like, Quiltfish or something like that. Um. This is a decision to make. I'm gonna go with the close combat. If he goes into the Quillfish, then he made the right play. Main idea, what is this? Zap. Uh, let's see, how much damage? Oh, the para hurt! Man, I am just playing horrible in this game. I'm just playing horrible. Oh my god, I am playing absolutely horrible in this game. Like, I, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm literally not doing anything right. And that's really unfortunate. Yeah, he's gonna see that on Black Sludge, so he's gonna know what I was trying to trick. Uh, so we're just gonna Volt Switch here. And if he goes into Zaru, then that's even be- Oh my god, oh my god. Bloodline, what is that? Perfect. Exactly what we want. So we can get the, uh, Volt Switch off and get something in. That's a Violite. It is a Violite every day of the week. Um, honestly, oh well, wait, no, it's, um, I'm gonna bring in Gallade here. Oh, and I'm just now realizing it didn't do, uh, it's supposed to be Dice of Honor, as I'm just now realizing. Um, let's see something here real quick, because I mean, it's Hisuian Quillfish. Defensive, and I'm delayed. I do not have that. I have close combat. Uh, I'm not life form. I'm choice scarf. Um, what do I want to do here? Because he could very easily just go into Zapdos again. That, that might be what he does. He tries to go into Zapdos. And in that case... I'm gonna risk it with the Stone Edge. Ah! Oh! Man! Barbarage. Gets the poison. Alright, so now we at least have that. Alright, so now what do I want? So we gotta switch out here. I'm gonna let Vol I'm gonna let Rotom go down. I played this game so horribly. I've been on the back burner this entire game. I've been on the back burner this entire game, and I feel like I feel like an ass because of that. I feel I I, I really do. I played this game horribly. And that and that's what I get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trick. I'll get rid of it to Violet at least. I'm gonna give it recovery, but I honestly don't care at this point. So I'm fine with that because at least I'll. I mean, it'll get healing, but I'll be. 
At least it's no longer a... I mean, it's still a threat, but it's not really a threat anymore. Um, I'll just click Hydro Pump here. He gets his third layer of spikes up. Oh my god. I mean, ch honestly. Like, GG's the cherry with this kind of performance. Because it's like... And it's still lit! Like, what the hey? Alright, we're gonna Volt Switch here. We're gonna Volt Switch. What is he going to? The Zapdos? Main idea. That was... Zapdos. Okay. So we get the Volt Switch off. Alright. And now... I mean, I could go into you right now, and I could click the facade. I think that's the play. I got, I got to click the facade here. How much damage am I going to take? I'm at 39, so I probably only get time for one attack. Two attacks. We're going to go for the facade here. And we're going to see what happens. Alright, Zapdos goes down. And Gallade picks up a KO. The facade was definitely a good play. Thank you, Danny, for that idea. But now I have to let Gallade go down here because... Yep, here's Palafin, Babyfin. It's gonna just click Jet Punch here. Actually, now I think about it, I could bring in Rotom? I mean... Uh, Gallade will go down no matter what. Unless he was going to go for Flip, in which case I probably... Nope. Went for Jet Punch. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go for the Willow and say that he switches. With, he does switch. That's good. That's good for us. 630. That was the Zaru. Excellent. We burned it. Burn the Zarude, so that's a good thing. So, a little bit of a comeback, in a sense, but not really. Unfortunately, we are not doing well in this game at all. Uh, our only hope is, like, maybe a Rock Slide miss or a Power Whip miss. Nope. Power Whip does not miss. Would have been nice if it did, because that could have helped us out. Uh, 01... And then, uh, we will give, we'll give Quillfish the KO here with the spikes damage. Just to get rid of the late, in a sense. Because we really didn't have a choice there. Um, let me just see something. If Sneasler is paralyzed, but Unburden is up. Apparently, I'm still faster than a Cinderace, which is pretty shocking. Uh, so we're going to bring Sneasler in. We're going to go for Fake Out. We're going to go for Fake Out. Hopefully, we don't get Parrot. Perfect. And this should knock it out. It didn't knock it out! Oh my god! Alright, so now we gotta hope that, uh... We break through the... Paralysis. Yes, we did. Excellent. So we get rid of his Terra Captain. So it's... Our Terra Captain versus pretty much... Pretty much his entire team. And Sneasel. Um... Probably brings Position. What is this? The Iron Shreds? It's not Booster. So I can click Close Combat here. Unless it's Scar. Uh, let's see what it is. Because if we get the Close Combat off... It was Chopple! Good play, dude. Good play, dude. 
Good play. Chappleberry was such a great play. Oh, and now he's faster. Okay, here comes the Earthquake. Alright, so now it's Arcanine versus the Wolf. Alright, so we're gonna... So it's minus one attack, which is a good thing. Um, just gonna click flamethrower here. Just gonna click flamethrower and see what happens here. Because I'm assuming at minus one, I, I can take at least one hit from the iron shreds, and but I, I can't really do anything on the power after. So, Iron Treads goes down. Pursuing Arcanine picks up a KO. And we'll see what he brings out here. Probably... Yep, Palafin. Um, let me just see some Arcanine. Hisui. We'll just put that one on here. Palafin. Say it's Palafin Hero. Um, ghost type. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't take any hit from it, so... Unfortunately, we're going to take a loss here, guys. It's going to be a 3-0. And Extreme Speed does nothing! What kind of defense? Oh my god, he, had a, he must have a lot of HP in him. Um... Honestly, like, that that's just... That's insane right there, but... Uh... GG's go out to Cherry. I mean, that really was a good game. I, I just didn't play it good at the beginning. Like, I mean, leading Groton was definitely not a smart play on my part. Uh, and then, I mean, Terra Ground. Like, Terra Ground was such a brilliant Terra play on his part. Oh, honestly, it really was a good play on his part. I can't be upset over the finish of that game because it just happens, guys. It happens every so often. Uh, but, honestly, GG's to Cherry. We had to do this battle a little bit later, as explained in the team builder side of things. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, go and follow Cherry, guys. Give him a sub. Follow this channel if you're new. And follow the Twitch channel, because we're getting the community built, guys. I want to get the community up there. By the time you see this video go live, I will be live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash talentmasterj. Show up in the chat, get the follows up there, and let's get the community built. And all, and like I said, subscribe to Cherry, subscribe to all the FBL coaches that are in the description below. I'm going to get out of your hair for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and we just get better next week. Get better as the weeks go on. I will see you guys for week number two. Thank you, guys.